happens. Good right hand by Mayweather, but Julio Cesar Chavez has one of the best chins in boxing. He is willing to take punishment to dish out more of it. He absolutely cannot move at this pace for 12 rounds. Kind of an interesting contrast early. Mayweather has thrown by far more punches. Julio Cesar Chavez has not landed an effective blow in round one. Roger Mayweather has scored some with the jab. But it is Chavez who has been the aggressor, and he shortens the distance between himself and the Black Mamba with each passing sequence. Didn't hear the bell. As you watch Chavez, if you haven't seen him before, note his remarkable ability for ducking and slipping punches inside and then countering to the body and sometimes to the head. There's a left. That left landed. And this is what Chavez did to Mayweather in their first fight. He stood him up, and he's got him standing still on the ropes. Mayweather has weathered that storm. He's just playing possum here. I guess one of the issues in this fight, Jim, is whether Mayweather has added weight to his heart. And he comes in with a good right-hand counter. landed there. Chavez with the left, Mayweather with an uppercut. One thing we've noticed Mayweather doing, as we suggested in the tips of the night, Jim, is he has tied up Chavez a couple of times on the inside. That was a very good right hand high on Chavez's head. And a right to the jaw. Chavez keeps coming forward. And second round comes to a close. Mayweather's chest a little bit. Like that. Right hand landed flush on the jaw. Low blow. And Julio Grimace did that one. Chavez is a textbook fighter, but that was not in the textbook. Both fighters landing in this exchange. No dummy he. And the sheer aggression of Julio Cesar Chavez Begins to take its toll, and now Mayweather rallies again with the left hand over Chavez's right. And there's the right cross. And an uppercut landed flush on Chavez's chin, but Chavez does not back up. Right hand from Chavez, Mayweather clowning just a little bit. Ellis Puru. Again warned Mayweather, this time for holding behind the head. Low blow again. Low blow again, Ellis Burrow says. Mayweather flirting with another point deduction. Both fighters landing good punches. Mayweather landed a right hand. And they're yelling at each other. Mayweather just missed with what would have been a sensational right cross. And a rousing round four comes to a close. As I said earlier, Jim, when two champions meet, we get real fights. The last voice you heard was the trainer, Lou Reed, who once left Mayweather because he felt he was playing around too much and not training hard enough. Chavez stepping in now and landing with much more consistency than was the case in the earlier round. Julio Cesar Chavez has designs on bigger things, big money, and an even bigger weight class than this, perhaps, down the road, the welterweight division. Mayweather's punches have not had sting in this round. Chavez is by far the busier fighter now. We're in the sixth round. It's scheduled for 12. Chavez continues to stalk. A little more energy now from the Black Mamba again. Good 
and right cross. And now Chavez does a little clowning of his own. Uncharacteristic for Chavez. Mayweather has been more sprightly. Now Chavez lands a left and a right. Crowd picks up again as Chavez continues to step inside. Very close to hitting on the break, but he got away with it. Mayweather landed a right, but not as stinging as the one earlier in the round. Another very active, exciting round of boxing. Remember earlier, Jim, I said that the boxer usually has the advantage in the first half of the fight. Let's see now if Chavez does wear down Mayweather. Well, Chavez has to some degree blunted the left jab as a weapon. He did get hit twice with the right in the last round. Chavez now. Vintage Julio Cesar Chavez making Mayweather miss inside and countering. But Mayweather is countering effectively. They are trading in there. Again, if you're new to boxing, this is what is called infighting. Chavez is regarded as one of the very best in the sport at it. Mayweather is holding his own. But he lost his balance there. And I think it may be Roger who's run into a tired spot here. And conditioning. And the track record shows you that Roger Mayweather is a very good professional fighter. Julio Cesar Chavez has never lost. Jesse Reed carries Chavez halfway across the ring. And the crowd begins to erupt. Chavez going to work. Mayweather's eye is cut. All of a sudden, Roger Mayweather has blood coming from a mouse underneath the left eye. And he begins to try to measure the right cross in hopes of scoring a knockout. And he's landed it twice in a row. Make it three times. Chavez stares at him and says, come on, try again. And Mayweather seems to say, damn, you take a punch. This is predator versus predator. Good left hand by Mayweather. Chavez keeps coming. Timeout now, and the ring doctor will be called upon to look at Mayweather's left eye. To allow Mayweather to go on. He's fighting too well. Mutual fury. Great right cross by Mayweather. Chavez walked right through it. You marvel at the sheer resolution of Julio Cesar Chavez. He won't be stopped from moving forward. They flurry again after the bell, third time in the fight. Mayweather's manager saying you can knock him out, which suggests the concern they have because of the cut over his left right eye. Round Excuse nine eye. of a war at the Forum. Julio Cesar Chavez's first journey at 140 pounds. The stamina appears intact. Maybe no more punching power than he had at 135, but no apparent loss of power either. And Mayweather suddenly is not fighting back anymore. Exactly the right strategy. Uh, he's great at it, too. And 
fight begins to look a little like the Rosario fight did in the late stages. And now Mayweather is resurging again. even 85 to 85 I think Julio Cesar Chavez has taken the fight away from Roger Mayweather in round seven eight and nine he's gonna have a very difficult time getting the decision because of Chavez's activity because he's always moving forward and making the fight in a close fight in the last round Mayweather threw only 44 punches so his business is shutting down. Chavez has made Mayweather fight his fight in the last few rounds. He has awesome will. It's, it's very rare the kind of willpower you see in Chavez combined with his skills. Mayweather is fighting valiantly. But at this moment, as Larry Merchant points out, he's losing. Get the Come on. Vixen was. They have stopped, stopped the, the fight. fight. Crowd response came earlier than ours because we were looking at Chavez. Referee Hank Ellis Guru talked to Mayweather's corner, and it's over. And Jim, I'm not 100% sure of why they stopped the fight. Obviously, he has a cut, but the cut wasn't giving him a problem. I hate to say it, but I just think he didn't want any more of Chavez. I think you're absolutely right. The position that Mayweather has assumed on his bench the relationship he has with his manager and trainer would lead you to believe that Roger Mayweather said, that'll do. We take a look at the final punch stat count. You can see that they threw an almost equal number of punches. And now let's go live to Larry Merchant in the ring. All right, we're here in the ring. A bit of chaos here. Roger Mary Mayweather just coming over to congratulate Chavez. Chavez has a little bit of a cut on the inside of the bridge of his nose. A much tougher fight than you expected. Si esta pelea era mucho más difícil que que lo que pensabas. La verdad sí, la verdad que no salí en mi noche. To tell you the truth, it was a tough fight because this was not my night. Iba a apretar en el en el onceavo y décimo round. My boy is a great peleador. He said Mayweather is a great a great champion, great fighter, and the fight was pretty uh, pretty even till now.